Why does the black man serve the white man? Why does everything the black man do benefit the white man? Why does the black man say freedom is doing what I want to do? And why is it that everything he wants to do enriches the European? Welcome to the desert of the real. Hey, this is Brother Equine from Columbus, South Carolina. Uh, oh, hey, peace to the family. Peace, peace, peace to the family. Hey, I, it's a great topic tonight, hey, and as it relates you, to nation building. Peace, peace, brother. Peace, peace. Um, as it relates to nation building. What's that? Yeah, yeah you make yeah. your point, brother. Yeah, keep going. Yeah, I just I, I was just basically tuning in to what what the brother was saying, and uh, he he definitely spoke uh, on some great uh, powerful points. And I was just thinking as it relates to energy, and just talking hear about hip hop. A butt coming. Yeah, as as, hear, as it relates to hip. What's that now? No, I hear a butt coming. Color. What? what right, doing, let me man? shut let up. Let me shut up. Let me shut up. Okay. Hey, hey, one thing I understand, one, one thing I understand about energy, I guess stagnation. I don't know who that is that continues to try to talk while I'm talking, but it's kind uh-huh. of stagnate some energy. But I wasn't, I wasn't saying no but nothing. Everything that the brother said was absolutely 100 percent accurate. You understand? All right. But the thing All right. is. Uh, nah, All right. I mean, uh, right. obviously, well, gentlemen, obviously, let's, I would like to hear the brother's question, please. Okay. Yes, brother, this is, this is, yeah, this this is just my thing. Mm-hmm. Um, because the brother said some very uh key things and as it relates to energy. Because like we what you were just saying, even when we're thinking about geo energy or uh, you know, the the, the the intrinsic forces of nature, uh, we also look at those things within us and we look at like how black people give well, like five hundred, we have given five hundred billion dollars to the church. As that relates to that's energy, you know, we look mm-hmm. at that dollar. We look at the dollar as being dead, but we know very well that's energy. Even if we took ten dudes, ten guys, and we call all of their mothers some bees, imagine what type of energy they would have just running out. So just showing the the the, you know, where where we get energy from and how to utilize it. But my question is, brother, like. Why is it that upon barking on this path to sustaining energy, to looking at lifting black power, and maybe you brothers on the show can tell me, why is it that, that so many times that black people are looking to do this work, but they over, overlook Kemet, they omit Tom Ray, they, they look all past, you know, the, the, the great accomplishments that we actually were able to mathematically and scientifically lay down on the Nile Valley. We'll look all all, all oh. over that to call ourselves Jews, to call ourselves. And and my question is, is that when we get back, because you said one main thing is culture, and the thing that we have to have inside culture is identity. It's righteous a rightful identity. Because we, we mm-hmm. have people now that are, you know, they're in culture. They're in drug culture. They're in rave culture. They're in all types of culture. But I, as an African, I want an indigenous, organic African culture that is good for me and that it, where it helped my ancestors elevate so it would do the same to me. Because you said something about master, master civilization. So my thing, even when we were saying that, that, that Kemet, you know, reigned supreme uh, for, for tens of thousands of years, uh, and like what Don, Dr. John Henry Clark said, you know, our world was almost over before we even know there was a European around. All um, right. So basically, gonna, like like, yeah. like I said, even when we're yeah. looking at that lineage and comparing America and even looking at America and its greatness, comparing that to our our, our own African Okay, greatness. I'm going to speak to all of that right now. Um, with respect to sort of looking at history, history has its purpose with respect to creating identity. Now, with respect to creating a modern nation state, this is something that is going to be based solely in modern science and engineering. 
I'm sorry to inform you, but you're not going to learn electrical engineering from looking at the things of Kemet. I think it's inspiring in terms of, you know, inspiring a people's self-esteem. However, building a modern nation state takes modern technology, modern understanding of technology. With respect to cultural diffusion and cultural empowerment, that comes from building a natural, powerful culture. That's going to come from building a state. The fact of the matter is power is everything. With respect to being able to project power, rather be economic power, social power, or political power, or just energy power altogether, it is absolutely essential that you create a powerful people in a sense that, and who has a sense of dominion over the world. Understand this. Rather it be Kemet or rather it be modern states in Africa or African cultures, they were not superior in that they were conquered. Understand this, a superior and powerful culture will not be conquered by a less powerful one. That culture has to come in with other means to conquer you. Now, that does not to say your cultural identity is inferior. However, if your culture does not permit you to adapt to the current situation you have, then you will be conquered. And that's what happened with Kemet. That's what happened with West African civilizations. That's what happened with Rome. That's what happened with China and so on. Cultural is not a static thing. Cultures adapt to different environments and sociological changes. And if your culture cannot adapt, it will be conquered no matter when or how you build it. It is very important, yes, you agree, that we have a unique African identity. That is something that roots the people in. It gives them a sense of who they are and a sense of purpose. But more important than that, you need to have a sense of African dominion. That means be prepared to build an African empire with all the nations on the continent, protect that nation, and if need be, have to go out and defend that nation with superior technical force and military force. It is, not, it is not rooted in any spiritual aspects, although spirituality, I say, has a metaphysical, you know, aspect with respect to, you know, being a great mind game or whatever. But none of this, what I speak, is based in any form of spiritual culture whatsoever with that respect. I speak solely in terms of pragmatism and the application of science, engineering, technology, and economics as the basis of it. And your African identity is the reason why you want to study these things for further. But my thing and, is and, that... And... Oh, I'm sorry. Yes. I, I just wanted to say if we're going to disregard the African traditional systems, like the systems of Ife, because these are yes. 100% absolutely spiritual traditions. And to disregard exactly. these and my traditions, thing is that, listen, listen, my, my, right quick, brother, to disregard these traditions is a very un-African thing. So as good. we're talking okay, about control and power. My thing is this. And let me, 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 let all right. Let, let, yeah. let the other two My thing is this, and I keep hearing this a Thank lot, you. of the purpose of maintaining traditional African systems. My thing is when I establish, let's say, a master culture that's based in this, that master culture says I am black first and everything else comes down from that. And part of being having a black dominionist system is mastering the discipline that enable you to generate power. Now, if that traditional African system goes against that belief system, it has to go. Every single civilization on this planet that has gotten powerful has quickly, not say quickly, but ultimately got rid of traditional systems that went against the empowerment of the people. Now, if you want to keep them along for a sort of ceremonial purposes, the purpose of maintaining the African identity, that's fine. But I'm not going to turn to a traditional system system with respect to building a water treatment plant or building a hydroelectric plant yeah, exactly. or basically designing new and advanced weaponry to defend the nation. I'm not going to do that. And especially if those traditional systems have led to the division on the continent that enabled it to be conquered in the first place. So that right. is not something I want to maintain. I am not with respect to um, culturally conservative with respect to that aspect. Um, Mao Zedong did this with China. China had plenty of um, cultural, um, traditional systems. He got rid of them. Why? Because it divided the nation up to the point where they were conquered by everybody. You have to get to a point where you understand that things are past, may remain past. Nothing remains consistent in the future. Everything changes at some point. 
And once the people are conquered, that has to bring into the validity of the power of those systems. I'm not going to keep something in place simply because it's African. If it works, it works. If it doesn't, it must go. Simple as that. And I say, and I well, and I say that's thing. that's that. Hold on, brother. If I could if I could just finish real quickly, yeah. I, I agree with what you're saying. But the thing is, with African culture, African culture has been torn apart. It has been ripped apart as we're laying laying things down. Potentially uh, trying to critique African culture, we have no right to. We don't. You don't. You don't know what's gonna work for us from a, because we have not been trained inside even that language, my brother. Okay. So even to kind of like, like well, hold on, hold on, hold on, right, right, right quick, right quick, right quick, right quick. I just wanted to say this because you said something very important about symbolism, about yeah. the same symbolism. Like we were talking about the American dollar, all the stuff that supplies that gets these big ass guns. On the back of that dollar, it has the picture of the pyramid. It has yeah. all types of symbolism, even when you look at the rituals that are performed in a lot of these buildings that are, mm-hmm. are making the shit go down. We already know that they do rituals. They are doing these fucking rituals, regardless of how the depth of the rituals, they are doing them. Even as it relates to Christmas Day, Christmas around this time, the winter solstice or the neb hen has always been very important to us as sustaining fertility. And, you know, even with studying energy you, you we know this okay but this today now well us as black people we go and help support this this is this the, like the the, the uh, day in that they generate the most in, income out the whole damn year on this christmas day you understand and just just talking about the importance of ritual talking about mm-hmm. the importance of hekka or certain yeah. words knowing the importance of symbolism you understand when you start dressing certain this is the importance of having proper identity within the culture because if you don't you ask our asses to be feeding white jesus and we'll be think, waiting the white jesus to come back and save us and he ain't coming and, and again as that relates to facilitate energy because with that 500 billion dollars that we've given the white jesus or with the five billion dollars that we go spend at the liquor store if we know how to control ourselves Knowing how to cultivate self, knowing how to cultivate our spirit, knowing how to slap your hand in discipline. You understand? Well, you know, you, you that's that's our main issue. That's okay. our main issue well, with being able to control to anything points. of energy. All right, I'm going to speak to all those points for you. All right. My thing is, and I've always said this before, when you start a movement, it's best if you're going to save a people, you must first understand the people who think like you do. And once you have those people together, you cultivate power and you take control over the culture. You do not wait for the mass, the vast majority of people to follow you. Why? Because the vast majority of people are followers. They Absolutely. do not lead. It is not their place to lead. For those of you in a leadership position, you must understand the position you are in and um, basically seek to take control of the culture. Now, you mentioned the $500 billion spent on Christmas. If the $500 billion spent for the very same ritual, Christmas rituals, were in black-owned businesses, I wouldn't care. If the liquor stores were black-owned, I wouldn't care. Why? Because the money stays with the power. Um, with respect to you mentioned about rituals and symbolism, um, with respect to rituals and symbolism, I'll leave you at this quote, with respect to how it relates to religion. And I put all forms of um, belief systems that are not based in fact and the religion and spirituality. It says, when it comes to religion, the layman sees it as true, the wise man sees it as false, and the powerful man sees it as useful. Now, where you fall in those categories, that's up to whomever. But I'm just going to leave it at that point. What we're talking about with respect to building a master culture is a culture we know our purpose. We know we are black people. We know our identity with respect to what we want as black people that is rooted in race, and we know what we want to achieve. Asians have essentially remained Asian in respect to their culture. That does not say that they have disqualified the use of science and modern technology. Asians are some of the most scientifically advanced nations on the planet, but that does not change who they are. Becoming a scientifically advanced nation will not change your traditional culture in respect. What is that? Um, my alarm. <laughs> oh, talk about your alarm. Your, well, I, I think your alarm does wake you up. I hear that much. Um, 
becoming a scientifically advanced nation does not mean you have to give up the traditional cultures that sort of cultivated you. In fact, it complements it to agree. But once those traditional cultures start to interfere with things that give you actual power to create for yourself and your people things that will grant them a better life, then you have to bring those traditions into question because understand this, the past is finite. The future is not. The future is far bigger than the past. 10,000 years ago will be a short period of time compared to 10 million years from now. So we have to think with respect to going into the future because the future is much bigger ahead of us, and the past is what it is. You take, you learn from the past, you take from the past the things that are useful and will aid you with respect to building a powerful people, and you disregard the things that don't. One thing that has been proven as building a scientifically advanced, and I'm talking about a real scientifically advanced in terms of science, technology, mathematics, engineering, by mathematics, I mean uh, calculus, differential equations, string theory, number theory, things of that sort that involved that you learn in any university and anywhere else. We're building a scientific civilization, and this has been proven across all nations that have done this, and that it creates a better quality of life for the people. Now, you mentioned before that we as Africans are not used to this language of science, and that's just, I would say, inaccurate because what it has shown that any nation, any people who apply these concepts will become powerful. The only difference is the Europeans managed to stumble on it first and use it for their dominion. Asians, you know, came on it later and used it to create the lives they have. We have to use the same tool. Science is a tool, no. and I mentioned this about tools. When, when I mentioned, sorry about that, I'm going to finish. When I expect this is fear of fire. If someone throws fire at you consistently, you will be afraid of fire. However, if you use fire to build tools and learn how to cook, you will not fear fire. Something, things are to be understood, not be feared, and things are to be used that are going to be useful. Yes. Yeah, All right. Hold up, hold up, hold up. Hold up, hold up. This is the host. <laughs> hey, hold up. ready. I'm getting ready to end the show because I have to go to work, but I want to get the last word. All right. All right? And the last word is this. Um, Neil basically said something that's just basically a drop the mic statement. There really is nothing to say after it. If it works, use it. If it don't, get rid of it. And that's the bottom line. I'm not tied to know anything I'm not tied to something or belief or a practice just because exactly. it's African. If it does not work, we don't need to be engaging in it. And that's yeah, the bottom yeah. line. <laughs>